knowing that that was a healing practice for me without the therapeutic aspect mm -hmm. i was like whoa there's an actual space for for creating uh, mm -hmm. healing in a different way that's yeah. not just talking and like cbt or uh treatments so well, cbt cbt Mental health Monday. I know what you mean. Let's just let's just drink the glass of water and be glad that we're here today. <laughs> Please. Yeah. I like that. I, like, I get that. Um, maybe yeah. we can do a last emotion. Mm. Or are we done? What time is it? I don't know what time. It is. I don't know what time. Do you, would you happen to know what time it is? Five. Five to oh, we got time. Sure. Okay. Yeah, no, we got time. Okay, okay. I could go until five forty. Okay. Yeah. What, what What did you paint? Oh, you paint so different from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at what I did. Let's see. <gasps> that is cool. Yeah. Wait, let's do. I have do no idea what it is. Wait, doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's do a last emotion. Okay. Let's do. Pride. Pride. Ugh. <laughs> I got a lot of that. <laughs> oh, your pride. What color is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what color pride mm -hmm. is. Which color did you pick? Like purple. What? Well, you're putting them together. Yeah. You're mixing them, so that's a yeah. Because I I did mixes twice. Ah, uh, you can mix. Yeah. But uh, it's purple. What does purple and blue make? Is that blue or is that a it's lilac? It's like pretty periwinkle okay periwinkle is always such a funny color it's a funny color people say it's purple people say it's blue oh it's periwinkle it's who periwinkle. came up with that name <laughs> mystical being um but yeah gray yeah okay because most of the time you run into pride you don't realize how much of it is in the room we're going with gray yeah gray That's so interesting I think why I chose purple mm -hmm. um, it's because sometimes, yes, it's been seen as a negative. Mm -hmm. Purple? To have, no, 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 like pride. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, for example, when working with teenagers, sometimes happens that they don't understand um, what it is to feel proudful or mm -hmm. like being proud of who they are or being proud of what they've done so far mm -hmm. or how can they be proud to like continue in the future mm -hmm. so I think that's why I did purple because it's like I don't know I think pride as a concept is funny because they tell you, hey, don't have too much pride. But the same people also tell you, hey, take pride in your work. That's, yeah. And it's like, wait, so is this good or bad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, or does it depend on what the expectancy of me is? Yeah. Stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, I, that's what I mean. Like, sometimes... Mm -hmm. Uh, the why we do what we do mm -hmm. it's because we believed in ourselves enough to do that yeah i remember starting doing murals and actually having to go inside and being like can i actually do this do i believe in myself is that technique you're using on your canvas called grading this one yeah where you just dot things yes also people um i don't i know it in spanish it's puntillismo but mm -hmm. it's obviously like grading i just I usually start like this and then I evolve <laughs> in other things. I don't know. I was one and now I'm the other. <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but yeah. Colors, colors. I like that we have different palettes. Same. I like that my cameras aren't overheating. Nope. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I looked around. I, I said, hey, man, you guys are doing a pretty good job I today. I hate if that happens. <laughs> Usually at the 40-second mark, they're like, hey, man, yeah, we're going kind of long. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, I know we got a dummy battery, but we not dummies. That's kind of wild, man. You, just, you think we just going to hold up for the whole fight? That's crazy. That's funny. I feel like um, videography is also an art form. You guys I didn't to, think of it that way until I realized that I was I really cared about so 
Mm -hmm. To me, art's presentation and expression, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get as close to not just the message, but how you would like the person that you're interviewing to be seen and digested. Mm, gotcha. So sometimes you just want people to hear a person's stories, and sometimes you want people to feel a person's story. And mm. those are different moments. Completely like different. sometimes when someone talks, you don't cut them off and you let them like have their pauses in between. You don't mm -hmm. fill that with words. Yeah. Or like, you know, what kind of light are you going for? Like being in bright rooms all day is actually really exhausting. No, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I'm, I'm a like yellow tone kind of person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And this, obviously the slides have their purpose. Mm -hmm. You're capturing the shadows and like all that, but. There's a reason your eyes are tired after you turn it off. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I definitely do think it's an art form. It's a, it's an expression. It's, mm -hmm. You're editing people's stories. Like that's. People are trusting you're you. You're caring. Yeah, people are, you know, trusting that you're gonna depict them and in, in the way, obviously, that you see them. Because mm -hmm. I don't feel like everybody can depict anybody in the perfect way. That's mm -hmm. kind of impossible. Yeah. Um. But it's a really trusting, vulnerable process, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's people whose interviews I haven't put out that I shot two years ago because yeah. I didn't either have the right editors or have the right people that I felt I could trust with their content. Mm. Who sometimes I wake up and I'm like, hey, man, you need you need to call that person and give them Again, an apology. Just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> just give them an apology. Because they were as honest as they could have been yeah. in that sit down. And like, you know, it's unfair to sit down and have these intimate conversations with people which may mm -hmm. not be intimate to you as the person who does it but it's right. intimate to them because yeah. they never really got a chance to say that out loud in front of people that cared exactly. and now it's like you you locked it away in a safe oh no that's crazy that wow the right that precise description mm -hmm. it's an experience that happens in therapy because ruptures also happen define when, a rupture a rupture in a therapeutic relationship, mm -hmm. it's when that, mo it's a moment specifically when sometimes the client or the therapist just can't click or something happens like they share some information confidentially mm -hmm. and they don't feel like they're being held or like the therapist is like trustworthy or something happens and mm -hmm. sometimes it's not even nobody's fault yeah it's just like the way something was said or, or today just happens or to today be the day. it just wasn't a day yeah um and you know a rupture you can always come back but it takes you know that time so when you mentioned that i was like whoa like because that that is what therapy holds like the space mm -hmm. um for vulnerability and confidentiality mm -hmm. that's why it's therapy because there's no way that you could s they can let you know all of those things in mm -hmm. settings that they're not safe in yeah um so yeah when when you first found out about the concept of art therapy what mm -hmm. was your reaction that this thing existed in this medium <laughs> yeah first i freaked out mm -hmm. because i was like whoa um i've been painting my whole life uh define your whole life like since <laughs> since you like grabbed since in the color womb. and you you was like yo man so i'm in the womb right I've but i heard i heard the, the color womb. red <laughs> and i knew picasso <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i say all my life but it's because of the also generational like my mom you mm -hmm. know that stuff but yeah i think i've painted since i'm like four or five okay but knowing that that was a healing practice for me without the therapeutic aspect mm -hmm. i was like whoa there's an actual space for for creating a mm -hmm. uh, healing in a different way that's yeah. not just talking and like CBT or uh, treatments. So oh, CBT. CBT. <laughs> Con uh, oh my gosh, wait. Cognital mm -hmm. based therapy. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we also have kind of those CBT treatments in mm -hmm. our therapy, but we mix it with art, which is completely different yeah. than just having the basic talk therapy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see a world where 
the concept of art therapy is layered onto other things. So, for example, I'm not a therapist. Yeah. I'm just an advocate yes. for therapists <laughs> and wellness. I yes. tell folks this all the time. Mm -hmm. But as of late, I'm getting yeah. hired for speaking engagements that have to do with mental health. Mm -hmm. So when I do these speaking engagements, for example, I just did one on Monday for uh, that was through the mayor's office. Uh-huh. Um, I let them know, hey, I'm an advocate, so right. I could connect you to the therapist that I work with, but today it's not about me. I'm just hired. Right. Um, and I'm here to create a vulnerable space for you guys, but you yeah. work for the government, and the government doesn't really support mental health and therapy. So that okay. means someone on staff hired us to come here right. <laughs> to tell you, hey, man, it's okay to get therapy, but mm -hmm. just don't let your job know. So it's just, just, just don't. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> so with that being said, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell you what it is that I do, mm -hmm. why I'm here. Yeah. And we're going to talk about mental hygiene. Mm. And when I was there, I like, just came out of the shower, put on a suit, and I went there, but I was still wet from the shower. I right. purposely didn't That's dry right myself off. Yeah. And, then, and I was like, you know, I came here straight out the shower because I, I want to show you guys what good hygiene looks like. I took a shower. I came out. There was like conditioner, <laughs> shampoo, soap. <laughs> That, that's everything that's no longer on me because I've washed it, but now I'm wet because like my hair holds heat. So when it comes to you guys, how do you define hygiene? Mm. And then how do you define mental hygiene in your life? And I just want you to answer one question. The first question is, you know, what's one thing that you can work on for yourself, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And then the second question, which you don't answer in front of me, you answer in the privacy of your own home when no, nobody's well. around you is, why aren't you allowing yourself to do that thing? And that's it. That. Yeah. <laughs> and it was it was interesting because I see 